everyone. So, have you ever compared your child with other child? Or somebody else has compared their kids with your kid? If so, this needs to be immediately stopped. Because we don't know the negative impact behind comparison. It's really essential that, you know, as a parent, as a teacher, as a guardian, there should be no comparison of one child to the other. And there are so many reasons behind it. But the, the main fact here is why to compare when we know that each child is unique, each child is different. Comparing or, you know, uh, judging a child based on other child's performance is a common approach these days to ascertain the performance of any kid, which is completely not okay. You cannot judge my kid's performance based on how your kid does, right? Or vice versa. So it's really essential that, you know, we as a parent, teacher, be very mindful, careful what we say and how we say to our kids or students or children. Because comparison can bring a lot of negativity in a child. And so I want to discuss few of them uh, in this video. The very first uh, negative impact comparing can have is social anxiety. How many times we have seen that, you know, you go out to a party or to a public place or to a gathering and, you know, you tell your kids like when you go there, you talk to so and so, if they ask you this, you tell them this or you better not be shy because you want to make your child look best. But here's the thing, because of the comparison, the child may not have that confidence. He may have anxiety because, you know, the label that he is not superior or I must say in straight words that, you know, he may be feeling inferior because he thinks that he's not good as the other kids. So when he's out there, he has anxiety. He has this low confidence. The second negative impact is low self-esteem. Because of all this comparison, he's so much thinking about how to, you know, be like somebody, you know, instead of being what he or she is, you are always, the kid is always focusing on, I need to be like this. Because my mom said, why are you not like that? Or why couldn't you not be like him? So this, the self-esteem is so low because of all these factors. The next is the parent-child bonding. It really, really impacts uh, you know negatively the bonding between the parent and a child because the, the child will try to drift away from the parent because he's, He has this constant fear of the parent judging him based on how other kids do and this this puts a lot of pressure on the child because the parents are always Micromanaging their kids. They're always putting pressure on their kids to be you know superior than anybody else or to be the best without even knowing what the kid has a, you know, in him or her, the potential behind. So instead of comparing, the parents should definitely, you know, promote their talent, promote their hobbies. If you really want certain things to be developed in your child because you saw it's in someone else's kid, you know, the approach needs to be different. It doesn't have to be a comparison approach. The approach could be like, you know, I see you have this potential, this potential, and based on this, I think you could be better at this as well. So how about we give it a try? So you see the approach here is more motivational. The, mo the approach is more where you know, uh, you think the child can do it and not the negative approach where you feel like you cannot do it. So if you have been comparing your child, stop comparing right away. And if you see any uh, parent doing it, help them stop it because comparison will lead to, a, you know, the lead to so many uh, negative impacts on the growth of the child and you don't want it to happen. And I'm not saying parents or, you know, intentionally compare, sometimes unintentionally just because you want your kid to be the best. So your intentions are good, but the approach is not. So I hope you stop comparing your child, start promoting their, uh, you know, the best they have and this way you will have a great bonding with your child. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Till my next video, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye-bye.